Hello everyone, so in my previous video I showed how to build the tubular quad frame, just the frame portion of this quad. So today I'm just going to be narrating over a time lapse I shot of me transplanting the electronics from the old beat up frame to the new frame that I built in the previous video. So I didn't want to do a entire like tutorial type thing of the electronics installation this time because I was just transplanting the electronics and a lot of the stuff was already done. So I just went ahead and just did a simple time lapse and I'm going to narrate over that. So maybe you guys will pick up a couple things along the way. So let's get into the time lapse. Okay, so I'm starting off by taking the top plate off the old quad, taking all the props off and removing the rear standoffs because I'm going to reuse them later. And now I'm fixing an antenna that came off of the receiver. So I have to strip back the insulation and the shielding of that wire and then resolder the antenna back on there. And now you can see I'm taking a bunch of the electronics off, desoldering all the motors from the 4-in-1 ESC. And now I can start taking all the motors off. And some of the wires were uh, frayed or the insulation uh, broken from being in contact with those carbon tubes uh, where they come out into the center of the frame. So for some of the wires, I just replaced them completely because the wire itself was frayed. And on other ones, I could just get away with putting some heat shrink over uh, the area that was broken because the wires inside were intact. And now I'm taking apart one of the motors because this motor had a bent base and you can see I'm failing here to use the vise to bend it back so I actually had to put it inside the vise and put a nut on top of the bearing so I wouldn't crush the stator wires and a screwdriver underneath the bent part and then push it in the vise and that fixed it and now I'm going to replace the bearings on this motor while I'm at it. And now I'm looking around for the C-clip that I lost from the bottom of the motor. So uh, I couldn't find it. I didn't look for it for too long because I knew it was kind of fruitless. So I just used a C-clip off of a new motor. And now we can start putting all of the electronics into the new frame. So you can see I have to disassemble the whole thing first. And then we can start, you know, threading all the motors through and everything. So here I'm just tinning the motor wires so that they solder onto the 4-in-1 ESC real nice. And you can see I'm also tinning that 4-in-1 ESC. And now I'm putting vibration isolating pads onto the motor mounts. And now I can start threading those motors through. And I actually had uh, trouble here getting the screws in because the CA glue from gluing on the motor mounts actually got into the holes and made them too small for the screws to fit through so I had to just re-drill those holes which is no big deal and now I can bolt the motors on and I use Loctite for these of course and now I get to begin the fun process of trying to get all the arms onto the bottom plate uh, and it's a little difficult because you have to make sure the wires aren't in the way of the bolts going through the middle of the arms and then making sure all the wires are coming out the front and back or the sides but I'm doing the front and back because it looks cleaner so I also got the mid plate on there and now I'm putting the standoffs and nuts on the mid plate and getting that 4 and one ESC on there and soldering up all the motor wires and I'll come back later and fix the directions. And I actually like to fix the direction uh, manually with soldering instead of doing it in BL Heli. I don't know why, I just like it to do it that way. And I actually had some of the motor wire soldered to the 
wrong ESC. And I'm surprised I didn't fry the ESC doing that. Uh, it survived just fine. So I fixed that all up. And now I'm putting the flight controller on there. Putting the camera on. And now I can put the little foam wedge on the top plate. Oh, I was getting ready to. First, I'm fixing the uh, UFL connector on my video transmitter, actually, because the connector on the TBS Unify Pro uh, fell off. So I actually just have this hard soldered on there. And now I'm reusing the old standoffs because they had the antenna mounts already sorted. And now I can um, put that little foam wedge on. Okay, checking to make sure everything works. And I'm messing with that uh, UFL connector again just because I want to double check to make sure that antenna is making a good connection because uh, I don't want to fry that video transmitter. And now I can put the top plate on, put the props on, and we're finished. Okay, so now you can see we've ended up with this nice finished product here. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see me do a more tutorial type electronics installation video in the future. If I end up, you know, building another quad from scratch and installing fresh electronics instead of um, transplanting some old electronics from a previous build. Also, let me know in the comments just any kind of video ideas that you want to see in, on this channel. And with that said, please like this video if you liked it. Get subscribed to see more content like this in the future. And thanks for watching.